somebody who's watching this who knows nothing about the sport of cycling, thinking you, you have to, to grab blood That's crazy. to be able to cycle and compete yeah. at the uh, elite level. Ex explain the benefit of doing that. Yeah, blood doping is, um, I mean, there's a huge benefit, huge benefit. Um, when you, if you've taken, if you take uh, half liter blood out and then extract it in, you know, three weeks later or something. And is it weird uh, to talk about now? Oh, yeah. I mean, after yeah. I mean, having not, not talked about it yeah. for so long. Yeah, and back when, even when I was doing it, like I didn't really talk about it openly, so. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so to hear the words come out of my mouth, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, it was a wild time, it was kind of the wild west, with the wild western days of cycling. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they when you when it's uh, re-injected into you, um, you feel pretty much an immediate impact. Uh, boost your hematocrit, which is the the percent of red blood cells you have in your body. Your red blood cells carry oxygen to your muscles, so in cycling, it's your hematocrit's really important. Um, it can boost your hematocrit two and a half to three points. If you start out the Tour de France at forty five. You're gonna probably finish around thir thir with a 39 hematocrit if you don't if you don't do anything uh, illegal. Um, and, and the downside of that so, is, so you know, other guys may, might be going down. Their hematocrits are dropping, and then you take a bag of blood. You know, maybe your hematocrit's gone down a few points, but then it's gone up again. It's a huge advantage. Huge. Enables you to compete better, yeah, race faster. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. The the time. Uh, during a blood transfusion, you got a bad bag of blood. Yeah. Uh, first, explain what that means, a, a bad bag. Yeah, um, it was in the 2004 Tour de France, I believe it was uh, during the first rest day, so after about a week of competing. Um, yeah, I got a bag of blood, you know, about an hour after I was finished with it, I got up to use the bathroom and I, you know, looked down and I'm, you know, my urine is like black, black, black with a dark, dark red. I mean, brown, like just like a brownish black. Why? Awful. Basically, um, you know, I didn't realize it at the time, but the, the bag of blood had gone bad. I was more, I was disappointed. I was less worried about my health, it's as crazy that, as that sounds, because I did end up getting a fever. Um, but I was more just disappointed that, damn, I just lost a bag of blood. The next day on the bike, it, it was clear I didn't, I didn't get that normal boost. It was just non-existent. 